It looks a bit like Grandfather now, but he would never have walked around bareheaded. Looks like a Strickland to me. Like my little brother, perhaps, but not like my grandfather. Grandfather was much more uh, shaggy. Not bad. Oh, grandfather, how well you look. How well everything looks. How does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic, to be sure. But all the buildings are so sturdy and well kept, and the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century, and I know the reason why. Why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> But who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannen. Yes! Good guess. Look at him. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... A... A what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something evil. This is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. I don't think so. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon? In Hill Valley? Oh, he can't do that! Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! Well, if they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. Don't fade out on me, Dad. I'll be home soon. I hope. Nice of Trixie to give me these tickets. They're supposed to get me into all the big attractions. It looks like Doc's old sign, but I guess it couldn't be. No, you're doing it all wrong. It'll never burn like that. First, we'll need some kerosene. Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. This is beautiful! The devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness! <laughs> You sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Uh oh. What is it, Edna? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in the Valley. 
My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. <laughs> But I lay it on too thick. Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmirnoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals hey. to... You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back. You go through the front. Got it. I think I liked it better on the outhouse door. I'd better not get too close. <laughs> I'd better not get too... <laughs> I'd better not get... there. Edna, stop. It's just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch and this whole place will burn up. Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out, unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the same time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Was that a mouse? What's the matter, Miss Pickford? Scared of a little mouse? No, but you should be scared. Mice carry diseases. It's a fact. Look it up. Dolores Miskin? I gotta find some way to snuff out Edna's torch without getting her and Doc killed. Maybe I could jump him. Hang in there, Doc. Chandelier's right over their heads. That's gotta be useful somehow. Why are you dressed like that? I wasn't planning on visiting the 19th century. 
Pickle juice. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. It's too heavy to lift. It's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. I can't reach it, and even if I could knock it down, Edna'd be free to torch the place. Not quite. Say, that's a lovely chandelier you've got there, Tannen. Is it French? Man, this thing is not light. If you go through with this, there won't be a hill valley a hundred minutes from... Pickle juice. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. It's too heavy to lift. I wonder what's in these. No, oh, stop quiet! God. What the hell? Oh, cow crap! There goes all my pickled pig's feet! Going down. Looks like your torch is getting a little dim there, Miss Pickford. It's still hot enough to bring down this little bit of Gamora, Tannen. <sighs> All right, physics. What was that noise? What noise? I didn't hear a noise. Why are you so hellfire determined to meddle in my affairs, woman? You've been a burr in my behind for over a month now. Okay, that was lucky. Won't be long now. We'll just see. Sure, why I did that. Come on. Got any last words? I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. Come on, you son of a. <gasps> ha! The, frog? the hell are you? I'm the diversion, butthead. Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks Fisticuffs set a bad example for the boys. Now, where's Edna? Doc, she's gone. Edna's DeLorean. We've got to stop her before she hits any more power. Come on! <laughs> 